keyword indexes. Um, there's, there's nothing particular about an index that you would call it a keyword index, except that your intent is to pull out or to at least list all the words and phrases that you think are most significant to understanding this text, or excuse me, to understanding the items. And so a keyword index, or maybe you might call it a subject index, although I like to think more, and you've seen in, in the hierarchy section that really subjects are generally listed as taxonomies rather than indexes. If there were a flat list of subjects, they would be called probably keywords. The idea of a keyword is that it's the key phrases and words that we would use to characterize this body. And it's usually a flat list. And you can see from most of our examples so far that our indexes are all flat lists. Right? That is non-hierarchical. If they were hierarchical lists, we would be talking about them as hierarchies or as hybrids between indexes and hierarchies. Okay, so this keyword index, we can create it either in an any mode or an outy mode. Let's talk first about the any mode of keyword indexes. So focusing in on the, um, uh, on the schema first, you can see way down under body and under P, there's something called keyword. Okay, so let me briefly introduce the, the schema, the schematage here. We have a section, the section has a body. The body is a, a, is a sequence of P's, a very simple body. We can have a much more complex one, and later in the course we'll complexify that body quite a bit. But we can have one or more P's, obviously, paragraphs. And the paragraphs, you can't see this here, but the paragraph is mixed. That means it's allowed to have text children as well as having child attributes, uh, attributes and elements. In this case, it's allowed to have any of these child elements, a B, an I, a keyword, and, a, and a, um, an index anchor in any order and in any quantity you want. So um, I'm assuming that by now you've, you've looked at the, um, the inline element topic, and so you know a whole lot about that, and so I won't go further into that at this point. If you need to know more, go and look at the inline, um, the inline model topic, and that'll teach you all about how this little P construct works. Uh, so what I really want to focus on right now is the idea that inside a P is a keyword tag. And that keyword tag, I think if we open it up, we'll see that it has a, um, an ID. Yes, the keyword tags have an ID in them. I haven't, don't have that opened here, but that's part of the schema. So what have we allowed ourselves to do? And also that keyword itself is also mixed. So it can have an ID attribute as well as a text child. And in fact, it's intended to have a text child. It's intended to be a wrapper around a word or phrase in exactly the same way that bold or italic is a wrapper around a word or phrase. You put bold or italic around that word or phrase to say this phrase is bold or italic. In exactly the same way, you put a keyword wrapper, a keyword tag, around a word or phrase to say this word or phrase is a keyword. Right? And so we want to focus in on that one. So since those keywords, because those keywords are embedded right in the section, and again, the section is the item here. The keywords are embedded in the item. They're not outside the item. They're not um, pointing into the item. They're part of the item. We would say that this is an any construct because the keywords are inside the sections. Okay, so let's take a look. If you go over to picture number two, now that we've looked at the schema, we'll take a look at the instance. And you can see that I've circled some of the, um, some of the keywords in here. And now take a look at this paragraph. We have a paragraph. The very first thing that happens under that paragraph, the very first child is a keyword. Keyword has an ID. In this case, it's K3. And the keyword has a text node child. And that, in, that in this case, it's the word metadata. We flag the word metadata as a keyword. And we've said, not only is the word metadata a keyword, but metadata is associated with this ID K3. So K3 can stand in for the word metadata. Um, in some circumstances, I've seen the keywords actually be the, um, uh, be the ID. So the ID here would be metadata with the assumption that, well, you never repeat a keyword, right? You never repeat a text child. Um, I'm a little leery about that, so I've just decided to give them uh, a specific unique identifier here. So each keyword has a unique identifier. You can see that there's a keyword up here in the first paragraph and a keyword in the second paragraph. Keyword in the second paragraph is K4. So as you're authoring your instance, you have to do something to those sections. In the first case of a metadata index, nothing to do to the sections. They already contain the information that was going to be indexed. In this case, we do have to do something. We have to flag or tag or wrap the words that will be our keywords in the keyword tag. And our schema will allow us to do that. OK, looking now at the transform that goes with this. Uh, this transform 
is again relatively simple. Uh, we have, instead of now wrapping our for each loop in a uh, bullet list, and have entry be a bullet list, we are now wrapping it at a table, but you see that same wrapping technique. The table wraps all the way around the for each, and then we do something for each, now in this case it's not for each section, we're doing it for each keyword. And for each keyword, we're, in, we're creating a table row. And in the first column of that table row, we're putting in the keyword. Recall that dot means select the current node. Recall that a for each sets the current node to the X path of the select of the for each. So every time through this for each, a new keyword is going to be the current node. If we say select dot, we, see, we say select value, excuse me, value of select dot, we're saying select value of the current node. The current node in this case is a keyword. And so in that first column, we will get the keyword. And in the second column, we're formatting a link. What are we formatting a link to? Another little XPath um, uh, exercise here. It's the parent of the parent of the parent of what? The parent of the parent of the parent of the current node, because this is a relative XPath. So it's the parent of the parent of the parent of the keyword. Go back to the schema and convince yourself that the parent of the parent of the parent of the keyword is the section. And so this link is a link to the section using the section title. So what we've done here is we've created an, a keyword list, and that keyword list lists the keyword, and it also lists the, um, uh, lists the title of the section that keyword's in, along with uh, a link to the, in this case, it's a link to the keyword. So we, have, we, we list the title of the section, but we link to the keyword. That ID is not the ID of the section. That ID is the ID of the keyword. And I'll leave some of this as an exercise for you to figure out, um, including something that's probably sticking in some of your craws right now, which is, um, is this a sorted list of keywords or an unsorted list of keywords? I'll leave that for you to think about. So at any rate, there's our transform. We can take a look at our, um, at our uh, output, our HTML output, and we can see the table. We can see the, um, uh, the, the keyword in row one. And if they're not sorted, by the way, what order are they in? They're obviously not alphabetical, these keywords, right? What order are they in? What order does the for each command select items in the instance? And the answer to that is in the order there are, they are in the instance, or at what I might call instance order. So these keywords are in instance order. They're not in alphabetical order. OK, so and then there's, you can see, we have two keywords in, in section called metadata indexes and three keywords in the section called book indexes. Those bottom three are linked to the book index section, and the top three are linked to the, um, are linked to the, uh, uh, the top two are linked to the metadata indexes section. So that's an any keyword index. It's any because the keyword element is inside the items that are being indexed. It's a keyword index because we're pulling out those significant words. The way the transform works is to go through each keyword and format a line for it in order to give you the keyword and then where it's located. Okay, also relatively straightforward index type. <laughs>